Hello and welcome to our channel. This is Mary and today we will walk through the custom template option for checkbox and radio fields in form. This option allows you to style the appearance of the field by adding more content. Such method will help you easily make a custom template for posts, categories as well as for query. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enable the bell so you will be up to date with our new tutorials. This will be a quick and easy guide. Let's get started. For this tutorial, we need a Jet Engine and Jet Form Builder plugin installed. The first thing we need to do is to create a form via Jet Form Builder. The custom template is available for three widgets radio, checkbox, and appointment provider. Also, you can use it only on certain source, such as post, term, and generate dynamically. Let's see how each option works in more detail. Let's start with the option for taxonomy. Select a category from the list and enable the custom template option. Here, you can only use the listing template that is created through Jet Engine. Let's create this item. For listing, we choose the same source, taxonomy. In the template, you can add any content that relates to this taxonomy. Let's create two columns. Since this is a custom template, you need to add a widget for checkbox icon. This can be done with checkmark widget. It has two options. HTML adds default icon view for checkbox and radio field or image. With this option, you can add any icon through media library. Choose default and check image. In the next column, I want to show the name of the category using the dynamic field widget. Now, save the template, go and refresh the form so that the listing pulls up in the selection list. Save the form and let's see how it looks on the front end. You can see the list of all categories with custom icons that work smoothly. Also, in the form, you can change the layout of the options. Now it shows in horizontal way. If apply the vertical option, then field will look the same as in the template. We can go back, change the spacing between the columns on the front and get a better look already. Now, let's do the same for the posts. Let's start by creating a listing. I want to show post from the ads post type. To show more details about the post, create as many columns as you need. In the first column will be a checkmark widget with a default icon. In the second field, I want to show the post ID using the dynamic field widget. Then there will be post title and the price from the meta field. The last thing is to set up style settings for each field and save the template. Go back to the form, add a radio field, post source and add post type. Turn on the custom template option and select listing. Checking on the front end, you see the listing template with the post data. Please note that you can customize the template as you need. The last option for which you can use custom template is generate dynamically for the option Jet Engine Query only. For this, we need to create a query. I want to show a list of users with the role of admin and company. To learn how to use the query in the form field, see the tutorial on the tip above. In this case, I only add a value for the field. Also, create a listing template for users. In this listing, I want to show custom icon.
user nickname and profile picture. Save the template, add it in the form field and save the form. Now we can see not just a list of users, but a list with various additional information and a custom picture. This is how easily and quickly you can improve the look of a checkbox or radio fill in a form in a few clicks. Check this video for likes, be sure to share your ideas on how you would use it in the comments and see you soon!